Hi, I'm Crypto Lou and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through the latest version of Exodus and I'm also going to be showing you how you go through and export your private keys. And I hope you enjoy this video today and if you do then please give me a thumbs up as it really helps me to grow my channel and understand what kind of content you enjoy. So for those of you who are familiar with my channel, you will know that one of my favorite wallets is the Exodus wallet and they've just released a new version of their software which I'm going to take you through now. So I have already done a full tutorial and review of Exodus and what I'll do is I'll put it in the top right hand corner now so that those of you who haven't watched that before then please feel free to do so. However if you would like to go through and find out which version that you're currently running of Exodus you can simply click on to help and it'll then tell you the version that you're currently running. So you can see here that I'm currently on Exodus version 1.45 and if you click onto the link here it will then go through to their site and show you what the latest version is. So we can see that the latest version here is 1.46 and then it gives you some different options to download. So I'm going to be downloading onto a Mac today and it'll then take you through the download process. One of the other good things about Exodus is the fact they do tell you when the next update will be. So that will be on March the 5th in 2018 and we can also go through and have a look at what's actually included in this new release. So we can see here that the latest release was on the March the 1st 2018 and it's 1.46 we can also see what they've actually included. And they've got new supported Ethereum assets, which now include the likes of Storm, Raiden, Quantstap, Monaco. And you can now see that I am now running the latest version. So let's go through and take a look at some of those new features. So if we go to wallet and go to add more and then scroll down, you can now see you now have this Ethereum asset section. So if we click onto the right hand side, you can see you've got absolutely loads of ERC20 based tokens. So you have the likes of icon, you also have things like font stamp, you have Tron. So if I now go back to my wallet, you can now see that I have those ERC20 supported tokens or those Ethereum based tokens that are now appearing in my wallet. Now the one thing to be aware of in terms of these ERC20 tokens is the fact that you can't actually go through and exchange these as they're not available in that exchange list. So I think it's pretty good the fact that you now do have those ERC20 supported tokens. It just means that you have so much more options in terms of storing your crypto within the Exodus wallet. The only thing that I think they're personally missing out on at the moment is the fact that you can't actually store Ripple in here. I think that would probably be, you know, one of the latest version ideas that I would like to see within your Exodus wallet. And the next thing I'm going to show you now is how you go through and export your private keys. Now, one of the really good things about the Exodus wallet is the fact that you do have access to your private keys, unlike if you are holding your assets on an exchange where they're not available. Now, one thing to mention is that you must keep your private keys private. Um, if someone else does get access to your private keys, they will have control over your funds and your assets. And a reason why you might want to go through and export your private keys is if, for example, you are trying to claim a coin as a result of a fork, you may need to import your private keys at this stage. So first up in your Exodus wallet, if you go to the top right hand corner and click on to Exodus, then go to Developer, then go to Assets, and then you have all your different type of assets or cryptocurrencies that you have set up within this wallet. So if, for example, you need to export your private keys for Bitcoin, you can go to Bitcoin and then go to export private keys. It then does come up with a message asking me if I am sure that I want to export my private keys. Remember to keep your private keys safe. Anyone who has your private keys can access your funds. So then you can go through and click to I'm sure and it will then go through and it will download that into a CSV file for you. And if you've then installed that onto your desktop, it will then appear as a CSV file. So if you just double click to open that, and then it will then be presented with the address. So that'll be your public address. It will also show you your balance and it will show you the corresponding private key. And you then need to ensure that you do save that somewhere safe, maybe keep it offline, keep it on USB or keep it hidden away somewhere. And you can then import it to its required destination. And I hope that you found this useful today and if you did then please give me a like. And if you did find it useful and you feel that it will benefit others then please feel free to share. And if you'd like to see more tips, reviews and tutorials then please hit subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you soon.